Hello, Good Shepherd Paris and St. Francis and John community. Of course, you all probably know me. I'm Father Lin, Pastor of St. Francis and John. So this week, we prepare with the Gospel message for Sunday, November the 8th, 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Hard to believe it, that this cycle of this liturgical year is almost over. Weather's cold. So listen to the Gospel of St. Matthew for on the Sunday, November the 8th. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps were going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they were, went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgin came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said and replied, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, friends, as we come to the end of this liturgical season, and as we see our environment surround us is preparing for winter, cold weather begin to crop in, trees begin to go dormant, darkness seems to dominate light. Our minds and hearts are facing changes in the season. And so too, our gospel readings are focusing on the end time, all known as eternal life. You see, friend, how often we have forgotten the prime goal of the Christian life is heaven. You see, for us Christians, how often we are so busy with our daily living and complete for God's main purpose of faith is to quest heaven. In fact, if we look at the entire ministry of Jesus Christ, his main purpose is to lead us to an everlasting life. You know, more than ever in the past nine months with the threat of the pandemic, many of us are in panic with plenty of fears and anxiousness. And then on top of that, you know, we all right now at the verge of this big election and so much money are pouring to add family or hate each other because they're declension. You see, friend, how, how important it is during this time, how crucial is it for us to anchor onto our faith which God has given to us to fix our eyes to heaven, to receive the serene hope in the love God has for us. Dear friends, this gospel is clearly talking about preparing for eternal life. How sensible for we are we in preparing to see God. As John Burke in his book, Imagine Heaven said, how you think about heaven affects everything in life. How you prioritize love, how willing you are to sacrifice for the long term, how you view suffering, what you fear or don't fear. Here are a few questions for you and your family to discuss and reflect. As Roman Catholic, we know that we need to prepare for the reality of the eternal. In the gospel, the bridegroom is God. Look at this household exercise and elaborate on how we prepare for the eternal. 
talk about the mystery of life. What do we do to prepare for the eternal? Identify what each of you do that is a preparation for eternal life. How is participation in Holy Mass helping to prepare each of us? Identify people who have gone to the eternal rest of God and how did they prepare? What can we do to better prepare for eternal life with the Holy Trinity? The household to think of one or more people they knew who has died. Pray the following pray together and with the prayer everyone should name the person who has witnessed a life of faith. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, we humbly entrust our beloved families. In this life, you embrace them with your tender love. Deliver them now from every evil and bid them eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome them into paradise where there will be no sorrow, no weeping or pain, but fullness of peace and joy with us, your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. See you at Mass.